Hey guys, well you should. Today I want to talk about exclusivity. Exclusivity is bullshit, and it sucks, and we should ban it from the world, and boycott it, and kill it, with fire, and knives, and any other weaponry you feel like, really, just punching it, it's gonna totally work. Yeah, what I'm talking about clearly is Bloodborne. I really want to play Bloodborne. I really want to play Bloodborne. From everything that I've seen, gameplay, reviews, watched videos about it, and, and read stuff about it, it seems like a really good game. It seems like a game in the vein of everything that From Software has been doing, and it's, it's, it's an evolution of that, and it's different from before. It has its quirks like any game from From, from, from Software. But it looks good, and I want to play it, and I can't, because I don't have a PlayStation 4. And let me tell you what, I am not going to buy a PlayStation 4, because I don't want one, and I don't need one. And I know that I'm pretty much just going to play Bloodborne, and that's it on it. And though I have roughly 250 hours on Dark Souls, and I'll probably get back to Dark Souls now that uh, Scholar of the First Sin is, is coming, which is like... Kind of like a big expansion, not a big expansion, kind of like a big patch that changes things up and adds a little more content. I'm probably going to play it again, maybe even reach 300 hours, and I love that game, and I'll probably play as much, if not more, on Bloodborne, if I ever get Bloodborne, but I'm not going to get a PlayStation 4 for it. It's not going to fucking happen, because it's not worth it for me. Not even if it costs the proper amount of money, and not the ridiculous sum that it costs here in my lovely country, but it's just... I'm not going to give in to that. I'm not going to give in to that because it's, it's really bullshit and it pisses me off. It really pisses me off. Exclusivity, I guess it has a, a positive connotation in, in, in some form. Like, yeah, we're exclusive. It's, it's really good. It's only, only here and stuff like that. But exclusivity is just dumb. You're preventing people who want to play your game. You're preventing them from playing it because... You want them to buy a system, and you know what? I'm betting that there are a lot of people who buy a PlayStation 4 just to play Bloodborne. But you're, there's a ton of people like me who just wouldn't do that, and you're just preventing them from playing your game and from adding on to that experience. And people who, who really want to be engaged by your content, but they can't because you're excluding them. You're just excluding them. And it, it, it pisses me off and it's annoying and I just really decided I'm not going to give in. And I thought about, you know, getting a PlayStation 4, playing Bloodborne, and then selling it. I really don't want to deal with that crap and I'll probably sell it for less amount of money so it'll cost more. So it's, it's still shit. And uh, the one thing that I might actually do is maybe I'll have a friend who will finish with the game in four months and I'll be able to steal his PlayStation 4 and play it myself for a while. I hope I'll be able to do that. And I'm even willing... I'm willing to take another person's PlayStation 4 who does not have Bloodborne, buy Bloodborne, play it for a while, and then give them the PlayStation 4 with Bloodborne and just give it to them. That's just, you gave me the PlayStation 4 for a while, that's enough for me, take Bloodborne. That's fine, because it's paying for that experience of an amount of time, I don't care that I won't have it later on, that would be sufficient for me, but not, I'm not buying a PlayStation 4 for it. And it, 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 it kind of pisses me off. It, it just... More so than anything else, because I, I, I don't... I rarely really want to play games. Rarely. And this is one of the games that I really want to play, because I think it's really good from what I've seen, even though it's completely fucking broken, and the speedrun is like 36 minutes for any percent uh, in the release patch, which is hilarious. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation... Fuck you, I'm not gonna buy a PlayStation 4 as a Bloodborne machine. I don't need one, I don't want one, and even though... Yeah, there are probably other games that I, I'll want to play. I, I don't want one. I fucking don't want one. And it costs a lot of money and it's wasted. And I, I am really not the kind of person to waste money. It seems to me like a giant unnecessary toy. I have a wonderful computer. And there's no reason why this computer won't be able to run Bloodborne if they'll fucking port it. And I know they suck at that, but still. It pisses me off, and I think we should try and, and um, I think that the world should leave exclusivity behind and move on to anyone can play my fucking game. And also consoles are stupid, but that's a debate for another day. <sighs> Sorry for being slightly ragey. Uh, this is really annoying because I really do want to play that game, but I probably won't, and not anytime soon anyways. And yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.